think also our ego, like our mine, like my ego, I'm like, I can do this. I can handle so much. Kelly Clarkson getting real about her marriage to ex Brandon Blackstock. I am an open book, but I, I don't do it for anyone else, honestly. While chatting with Glennon Doyle on the We Can Do Hard Things podcast Monday, the singer opens up about ending their relationship in 2020 and what kept her from leaving for so long. My ego is like, I can, I can control my actions, I can control my reactions, I can, I can do this and I can reach this person and I can get through and I can, and it becomes a little bit of your ego that gets in the way. Life just kind of happens and it takes turns that you don't expect. As a child of divorce, Kelly says she didn't want the same thing to happen to their children, seven-year-old son Remington and eight-year-old daughter River. If I'm being completely honest, we don't want to do what we saw done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, ugh, I don't want my kids to be those kids at school. It's a little different. They grew up here. It's a very progressive city and even New York, that's progressive. And But in the South, there were like two of us with divorced parents in our oh. class. So it was very different. This isn't the first time the stars let fans in on her life. I was destroyed, like on the ground, like crying. You know, it's just, divorce is a really thing. Last March, Kelly didn't hold back when she made an appearance on another podcast, Angie Martinez IRL. I think the thing about divorce that, you know, especially having it publicized, like it's just, you know, it, and people thinking they know the whole yeah. thing. The hardest part of that is like, it wasn't an overnight decision. I'm not the person to be like, oh, well, it, you know, oh, it never had, or nothing like that. Da, da, da. No, it was beautiful for a minute. You mm. know what I'm saying? It was awesome for a minute. And then, when and that's okay, it just didn't work out. Also sharing how she took an open and honest approach when it came to talking about the split with their kids. But a lot of times it would be like, you know, I'm just really sad. You know, I wish mommy and daddy were in the same house. I wish, and they're really honest about it. And that's, and I'm raising that kind of individual. I want you to be honest with me. And I just sit there and I'm like, yeah, I get it. I'm mm -hmm. from a divorced family as well. I get it. That's, mm -hmm. that sucks, you know, but we're going to work it out. And you are so loved by both of us. I am an open book, but at some point I'm a mama bear more than I am a person in the public eye. So I care 100% more about my children than I do anything else on this planet.